Mexico pauses relations with the U.S. and the Canadian embassies. The Mexico's President Andres Manuel López Obrador gestured during his daily press conference at the National Palace in Mexico City on August 23, 2024. CNN, Mexico's President Andres Manuel López Obrador is halting diplomatic relations with the U.S. and Canadian embassies after their ambassadors criticized his proposal to have judges elected by popular vote. López Obrador announced the move during his daily press conference on Tuesday, saying the pause is with the embassies and not the countries. He said relations will be re-established once the diplomats are re respectable of the independence of Mexico, of the sovereignty of our country. CN has contacted the U.S. and Canadian embassies in Mexico for comment. Lopez Obrador's proposal for judicial uh, reform is part of the package of constitutional changes he has been seeking, which have yet to be approved. On Monday, a congressional committee approved the proposal and it now requires the two-thirds approval in both the chambers of Congress. The reforms include the range of issues in areas like pensions and the energy sector, but they also include the controversial judicial and the institutional reforms, which critics say would weaken the separation of powers and see the disappearance of some independence regu regulatory agencies. U.S. Ambassador to Mexican Mexico, Ken Salazar, said last Thursday that he believes the popular direct election of judges is a major risk to the functioning of Mexico's diplomacy. A democracy, Salazar stressed that judicial reforms should ensure the judiciary would be strengthened and not subjected to the corruption of politics. The ambassador also said the move could impact the U.S.-Mexico trade relations. The U.S. and Mexico are each other's top trading partners. The Canada's, Canada's ambassador in Mexico, Grime Clock, have warned of investor worries due to the proposed judicial reforms and voiced concern about the disappearance of the some aut autonomous bodies. After Lopez Obrador's press conference on Tuesday, Salazar posted a note on X reiterating the significant concerns the U.S. has over the judicial reform. Several U.S. lawmakers also expressed their concern on Tuesday, saying judicial reform will ge uh, jeopardize critical economic and security interests shared by our two nations, including a regional trade pact. We are also alarmed that several other constitutional reforms currently under discussion may contradict commitment made in the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement, which is scheduled for review in 2026 read a uh, statement from the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee. The constitutional reforms include eliminating several independent regulatory bodies and merging others that are uh, government claims are duplicating functions. So Lopez Obrador is seeking to shorter the Personal Data Protection Institute called the INI. INAI. The regulator in February launched an investigation against Lopez Obrador after he disclosed the personal phone number of the New York Times journalist. The Mexican leader previously hit back at the criticism of his planned reforms, saying that he is seeking to establish constitutional rights and strengthen ideals ideals and the principles related to humanism, justice, honesty, austerity, and democracy.